It's early April and I haven't sown a single seed yet. Now I know you're going to say, well, you've sown your broad beans, but I'm talking about seeds in propagators. I'm talking about this kind of thing. Don't get me wrong, I've got lots of propagators, but every now and again I like to clear the old ones out and buy something new. And this particular one caught my eye when I was at a local garden centre. There it is, unboxed, all pretty self-explanatory, the seed trays, three of them. And this one here. Pretty tall. I think the spec on them, let me get out the dimensions. It's 69 centimetres long, so that's obviously the drip tray. 16 centimetres wide and 18 centimetres high. So yeah, that's what the sea trays look like. Just take off the dome. There you go. I'm going to sell my favourite lettuce, Little Gems. Well, in case you haven't seen what lettuce seed look like, there you go. Okay peeps, those are the three seed propagators up and running. In the far end one here I've got little gem lettuces. This middle one here I've got greyhound cabbage. This far end one here I've got three or four hurricane squash seeds. Um, so those are the windowsill propagators up and running, although they're not on the windowsill because that windowsill is too small or this is too big. So that's a bloody fail. All right, we'll chart their progress. While I'm in the mood for sowing some seeds, I'm gonna put in some beetroot seeds into these cells here. I use the F1 Pablo variety. There they are. Uh, I got this little tip from Allotment Journal, Chris on Allotment Journal. I normally just sow my beetroot seeds direct into the, gr into the ground, but he recently did a video on how he sows his beetroot seed. I thought I'd give it a go. I am also going to sow some direct into the ground, but I thought I'd do copy his way and give him the credit for it. So if you haven't checked out Allotment Journal, please do so. I'll put a link in the description at the bottom of this video. So apparently just get a pencil, dip a hole, in each corner. He actually does four corners, so he dips a hole in each four corners. I'm only doing uh, the two corners. You get the idea. Then just pop your seed into each hole. And that's it. All the beetroot seeds are in their modules. I'm just going to use the pencil to cover over. Cover each hole over again. And then water. Right, that's the beetroot done for now. 
I'd like to give a shout out to Michael Brotherton who's got a cracking little uh, channel on YouTube. If you want to know how to build a plot from scratch the right way and not my way, then get over to his channel and hit that subscribe button. And also do it for Chris at Allotment Journal, as subscribing costs you nothing and we can all learn a bit from each other. The links to both of those channels will be in my description box below. I think it's time I got myself up to my plot. The spuds are going in today and so are the broad beans. Right, this is a quick roundup of what I've done today. There's two and a bit rows of broad beans planted. I've still got to carry on with the row down here and I'll sow another row along there. Ah, been doing a lot of digging again today. Digging, digging, digging. Started digging here. Show you the rhubarb. The rhubarb is uh, making an appearance. And then, as you saw me do earlier on in the video, I planted out the King Edward potatoes. My mains are in the ground. I haven't bothered with earlies or second earlies this year. I rarely do. So that's it. Seven and a bit rows of King Edwards for 2016 and as it seems to be a weekly ritual uh, shallots don't know if you can make out the garlic, the garlic are coming up the stirring onions are doing well and that's it had a bit of a bonfire in the incinerator, smoking away. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in if you have. 
and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.